For those of you who are taking communicative abilities in English, I wanted to give uh, you some instructions on how we're going to work this week, week three, in creating a debate. We're going to end up doing a debate probably on Monday of next week. And uh, this Wednesday and this Friday, we'll spend time working on our preparation. So I want to go over some things to think about. We're still thinking about the topic of relationships. We want to think about now, though, personal relationships, thinking in terms of the Internet, the pros and cons of creating or forming different personal relationships given the current technologies. So to provide some context, I'd like for you to take a look at this article, particularly the section that reads... Utopianism and dystopianism. Here you'll find some general uh, overview of what we're talking about. Again, all within the context of forming personal relationships and the internet or using current technologies. They could also include mobile technologies. Now, this article is rather old. I think it was published in 2005, but it does provide a general overview, overview of computer mediated. Uh, technologies or communication that I think still very much relates to our current situation. So when you're preparing for your debate, I have created teams here and there's a PDF that lists the teams, but more importantly, there's a, an Excel spreadsheet that I'd like for us to look at here uh, so that I can, I think, better describe how we're going to approach this debate. So the first thing here is You'll notice that we have six teams, and teams one and two will debate each other, teams three and four will debate each other, and teams five and six will debate each other. Now, the way that this will work is you'll notice that each team has anywhere from seven to eight uh, members. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so I think teams one through four have eight members, and I think teams five and six have seven. Okay, and so the way this will work is you'll notice that horizontally going across here, each of you will have a debate partner. Your debate partner will be the person on the opposing team. And your job first is to work with your team and your team partner from the other debate team and come up with, in this case, eight different debate points that you can argue for and against. Again, everything is related to basically the pros and cons of forming a relationship or social relationships in general and the internet. Okay, so there are a lot of different points that you could include in this debate, but remember that each debatable point that's included here in column F needs to have a strong for and against. And this needs to be a decision reached by both Member. So, for example, uh, Jorge and Maria will need to get together and decide on a debate point. And at the same time, uh, Jorge and Maria will also need to work with their, their respective teams so that they all agree on different debatable points that are listed here. So, ideally, you want to have different debatable points throughout your team. Okay, but it also needs to be agreed upon by both team members, if that makes sense, right? So that both of you, you and your partner, feel comfortable for building a strong argument for, for each debatable point. All right, again, you're going to have one point. So you'll be, for example, uh, dating and, you know, forming, let's say, romantic relationships online. So that would be the debatable point. One team will be for, the other will be against. Each of the points should be listed here and should be agreed upon by each team member. Okay? And the same goes for teams three and four and five and six. Okay? So we'll have all these different de uh, debatable points. It's okay if there are similar debatable points in other debates in teams three and four and five and six. That's fine. But what I would try to avoid is to have the same debatable point within the same debate. Again, we're going to have three debates. The first debate will be team one and two. 
The second debate will be teams three and four, and the third debate will be teams five and six. Now, when we're ready to present our debate, each point, each debatable point, okay, each member and his or her partner all right, will debate four minutes on each debatable point. So, for example, George will speak first. He'll talk two minutes about his debate or his debatable point, trying to offer examples, talking about the what, the how, the why, the when, the where of his point of view. He'll have two minutes to do so, and then Maria will counter Jorge's point. She'll have two minutes, and she can talk about the what, the how, the why, the when, thinking of different examples to support her point of view. Again, opposing point of views. Each debatable point should be for something and, ag and against something. And then we'll just move to the next pair. Elizabeth will speak for two minutes on her de debatable point. Sophia will counter or come back with a counter argument for two minutes. Okay, so again, four minutes total for each debatable point. Two minutes per person. I'll be keeping time for each of the debates, each of the, the points that are being discussed, and we'll just go through each point. Now, the listeners, everyone else, the audience who's listening to the debate, okay, once they listen to four minutes of one debatable point, two minutes from each side, they will score a winner from one team to the next. So for each debate, for teams one and two, each debatable point, there are eight debatable points or eight points possible again those eight points will be awarded either to team one or team two as we go through okay and when we score we won't be referencing the actual debatable point we'll just be scoring um at without referencing exactly which point who won each point it's going to be a team effort the, team, the, the uh, points will be awarded to the team as a whole, okay? Now, I'll talk about this again in class and clarify anything, but I wanted to create a video first to give you kind of an overview and, and then address questions after you hopefully have a general idea about how we want to do our debate. The debate is going to follow very strict rules in the amount of time that you have, and I also want to know, I want to be part of your process if necessary to decide on the debatable debatable points that you are coming up with with your team and your team partner your debate partner okay so that it's very clear you know it's very important that each person knows exactly how to prepare for the debate or the point that they are planning on uh, debating each debate partner is only going to speak very specifically about the point that they decided on okay we won't need to worry about an introduction for this debate or a conclusion this is not going to follow really the strict rules of a real debate but this is kind of a modified version of a debate simply getting used to taking one side of a debate and offering offering a counter debate or a counter argument this does not have to do with how you really feel this is not your opinion this is strictly forming an argument objectively with the source information that you come up with now you'll notice here that each member next to each team member there are four columns that are head they have a heading called source and then we have the word link in each of the cells just below uh, the the headings so the way this will work is you need to look online to find information to support your argument. It could be articles, it could be books, it could be videos, it could be podcasts, it could be TED Talks. Of course, some sources are better than others. A website, .com website, I would not use. You might use a educational website, maybe a governmental website, but avoid any dot com websites again articles are going to be the best books are okay maybe a conference proceeding 
Regardless of the source, okay, I would ask that you include the URL for each of the sources. Now, I have here four possible sources that you could include. If you only have one source, fine. But in most cases, when you are forming a debate, having more than one source to provide support is oftentimes better, oftentimes will allow you to have a better argument. But you have up to four sources, no more than four sources that you can include. So if you find yourself with five or six sources, choose the four that you feel are the strongest uh, to provide your, uh, your evidence. This is not your opinion. This is not what you uh, think necessarily. This is what the support out there that, that you can find. This is very important because as you're looking for debatable points with your debate partner that's here, okay, this is important that both sides are able to find support for that one debatable point. That is a for and against argument. It's important that both sides is able to find support. If one side is not able to find support, then it's not a good debatable point. What makes a good de debatable point? Having strong arguments on both sides, the for and against. So this is why you need to work very closely from the beginning with the partner, your, your debate partner, so that you both agree on a point and, and then stick to that point as you prepare. Find sources that are going to support your side of the argument. All right, so if you're not sure how to link, to provide a URL link, if you select, if you go into the cell and you click insert, I'll just give you a quick example here. Um, so just as an example, I'm not sure if this link will work, but just to give you an example, click insert link. And what I do is I always remove the HTTP because a lot of websites now are HTTPS, just so there's no confusion. Remove everything, just start from a blank space there, and then paste, and then OK, and that's, and that's it. And then once you click here, that should take you to the, the link, the, the website. OK? So that's how to do the links. And again, just wanted to create this video to provide an overview of how we're going to approach this week starting on Wednesday. We'll start class by addressing any questions that you have. Hopefully you will have had a chance to watch this video. I'm going to send a message out today to uh, via Microsoft Teams. So hopefully you'll have a chance to watch this video and take a look at these tables. But we'll start in class and uh, I'm going to try to see if we can meet in the Isioptica. So we'll have a little bit more space to kind of get up and move around a little bit and, um, and give you an opportunity to both work in your teams and also with your debate partner so that we can first come up with the debatable points. That's going to be our first step is come up with those debatable points and then each person find the support, find the information online to support whether you're for or against that particular point. Okay, guys, we'll stop there, and uh, again, we'll address any questions that you have on uh, Wednesday.